Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to sew Harry Potter's fringe onto his head. This is one video of a series on the Aldi Harry Potter crafting kits that I've been making. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get to making this video, mostly because I don't enjoy using these kits at all. And secondly because I had Christmas to make and sell my jewellery and to make Christmas presents for people and I don't earn any money from doing these videos so you've had to wait a little while so sorry about that. Um, so before we get started I've done a little preparation work because I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me sew. So I've already stuffed my head as the instructions tell you to. The next thing I did was put my eyes on and then embroidered the glasses and the mouth. Then it says that you need to sew the hair on, which I have done. And then the eyebrows, you're not supposed to sew on yet, but I've put them on anyway, because essentially he looked a little bit like Donald Trump without any eyebrows, which I wasn't all that keen on. Uh, so to sew on the hair, you wanna make sure that the sort of circly bit is on top and the rows are down the back. And then when, you're sewing make sure that the last row of the brown yarn matches up with the last round of the flesh coloured yarn inside and then sew both bottom edges together it just keeps it nice and neat so we're ready to start the fringe so i've had a little bit of a look at the instructions and I can't see how the instructions relate to the picture on the front of the box quite frankly because the picture he's got sort of one long thin bit of fringe and one triangle so it doesn't really match up with having four pieces of fringe so I'm gonna go a little bit off piste with this and I'm gonna ignore the pattern so you should have two long thin bits of crochet and then you should have two triangle looking bits. Lose one of the triangles. So we're going to try and get the two long thin bits of fringe to sit above Harry's right eye. And then the triangular bit of fringe, you're going to have the longest side joining up with his hairline. So he's got a little bit of a floppy Hugh Grant fringe going on there. So I've got just the first darning needle that I could find. And I'm going to start with the long thin piece of hair and then I'm just going to sew between the stitches. And just to sort of encourage this to sort of sweep across his face. I'm just going to put a little bit of a stitch in lower down. And then to hide my end, I'm just going to poke the needle into his head. Sorry if there's any Daniel Radcliffe fans out there. And I want the second long thin piece. Work out roughly where I want it to go. And then just stitch him on again and then I'm going to find my ends again and tuck them inside the head. Now with these long thin pieces I've been careful not to sew the very ends down because you want them to be able to move a little bit you don't want them to be plastered flat to his face otherwise it'll look like he's been out in the rain so there's a little bit of movement there looks a bit more natural so then I've got my final triangle piece so we're gonna sew along this top edge so the longest side of your triangle so I'm just gonna thread up my needle and I'm gonna take the yarn back up the side so I've got a longer piece of yarn to work with and now I'm just gonna stitch all the way along the top row. Um, the next Harry Potter video will be about the arms 
because uh, I've had some questions about those as well um, but I strongly suspect it might be ignore the instructions and just do what you think looks good um, but until next time I will see you again any questions you can leave some in the comments for me or you can find us on our social media channels which I will link below